Hello guys and welcome by tutorial number 2. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to change the background in the menu of Train Simulator 2016, 15 or what kind of version you're using. So let's go straight into it and I'm gonna show you guys. And here we are. So I've got the two windows opened and one of them is with all the stuff that I'm using for uh, the tutorial including the new background that we are gonna use. But I'm gonna show you guys where we must go to. First of all, you need to open up your Railworks folder, and normally you can find it in Steam apps, comments, and then Railworks. If you're in that map, just go to Data, Textures, Front End, and there you can find all the images and layouts from the game. And also, uh, there is a file that's called background.jpg. Don't worry if you're not having that file, it's no problem at all. So we're gonna uh, replace that one with a new file. So if it's not in, no problem at all. We're gonna uh, delete that file. Right, so. And I'm gonna take in the new picture. There's a few rules that you must know, and one of them is make sure to set it on 9020 by uh, 1080 um, at HD. Um, if you set that one, it must be okay. Also, make sure to call that a particular file background.jpg and also go to your properties and set it on read only. If you don't do that and you're gonna start up the game, you will get automatically the default version that is uh, yeah, that's coming from, uh, from Steam. So make sure to set it on read only. When you're done everything like that, just copy the whole file into your Railworks folder. And there it is. Make sure to check it again if it's still on read, read only, but mostly it will be okay. If you set that one, do that, and you can fire up the game, and if everything is going well, yeah, you will find that in the background. So I hope to see you there. Let's go to it. Welcome back in the game, and as you can see guys, it's working. So I hope this uh, tutorial is gonna work for you as well. If not, make sure to, to, uh, to let me know in the comments below. If you like this tutorial, make sure to click on that uh, like button and also if you like it, make sure to uh, click on that subscribe button as well. And also don't forget to uh, follow me on the social media like the Steam group, Twitter and Facebook. So with that, thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you in the next tutorial or in the live streams. So uh, yeah, with that, bye bye folks and see you next time.